Yeah. How much were you gonna buy? Um, maybe like six bowls. Oh, fair enough. Oh, uh, uh, twelve. <laughs> <laughs>
that sort of brown tinge there. It's probably maybe more like a light red category masquerading as a rosé. That's really tasty. That's just straight up grape juice. I think this one might only be like 30 bucks as well. Uh, I don't think this is super complex. Like that, this this variety is so like typical. Some of the time that you see the same thing over the same thing over the same thing, but someone's coming at it at a different angle, and it's so awesome. And I yeah, I love this. I think this is brilliant. Um, Twelve bottles, please. I'm happy to pay in that thirty to forty dollar bracket. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, good stuff. Moving on to a cloudy little number. Pretty cool. Um, very very cloudy. Cloudy pear juice, yum yums. Always into this kind of style. It looks pretty. It looks like it's gonna taste sour. It's so cloudy. This one, that one tastes like apple cider vinegar. This one is apple cider vinegar. I'd smash out of that. I'd smash the shit out of that. Well, yeah, it's just that really bright pineapple, like underripe pineapple thing. But I feel like I find this really, really quite appealing. Oh, it's interesting. The, the texture of the tannin is really delicious too. Again, not the most complex. I'd like to see how these things age. And for that reason, straight away, I'm going to be jumping in a 12 pack. Hopefully, it's not going to be north of $35. I really, really like that at 35 bucks. And I think this is going to age in a fascinating way. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty like natty. That might be like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty natty, I reckon. Or they're just like, something's going wrong, man. It's like I've got, I've, it's like I've literally done this and literally been into the glass and that's what I've got all through my mouth, but I'm not bleeding and I want to keep drinking it. Great wine, uh, fantastic. 35 bucks, 12 pack, um, yeah, you've definitely got me uh, with this. That's fun. As like an orange skinsy wine, like entry level style, I think you guys would really dig it. Number five, another hazy number with some like coppery tones. Mmm, wow. It smells, uh, it smells wild. It smells, honestly, it smells a little bit like underripe red grapes. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if maybe a proportion of red grapes was used in this and then pressed really, really early and then blended with some white grapes. Um, this one's cloudy too. Cloudy, uh, I would say that this is classified as yellow wine and not white wine. And that smells really interesting. That smells like that's been like crazy fermented or something. Fun, really musky smell. Um, I think it's really bright and yeah, very floral, very jasmine tea kind of walking through the botanic gardens kind of vibe. Can't be mad at that. So maybe Converse German is the vibe. Fuck. And if I get at that just by looking at it, I've got some superpowers. It smells like Cabernet. It smells like green Cabernet. Um, and in that instance, it could actually be Sauvignon Blanc considering Cabernet Sauvignon is Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc combined. Uh, we'll see how we taste. What a cool little wine. What a really cool, interesting expression of wine. I have no idea what grape variety is. I think it's Sauvignon Blanc, but I really like the expression. I think that's really fun. It hits your tongue and it just like goes down. It almost has like really light kombucha or something like that. And that doubly makes me think that that's a baby. But like this one so far, that might be my favorite. Yeah, honestly, honestly, dude, it's pretty good. I enjoy it thoroughly. And final wine we have the next, um, these are all different shades of, of rosé, uh, it seems. Rosé and skin contact whites. Interesting. It's like, oh, it starts to go a little bit red, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, um, but it looks interesting. This one looks like I need to take this shot, and I can already tell this is going to be really expensive. It, it smells like a fortified. It smells amazing. Uh, it smells like a really amazing, uh, musket or, or tokai. Again, these really deep citrusy kind of floral tones as well. They're like rose petals and potpourri and all that kind of stuff, but there's like almost like this really interesting like savory spice underneath it. It's like almost like a bit of cumin. But it's really fresh. Oh, that smells really good. That tastes so fucking weird. <laughs> that tastes literally like butter menthols. It tastes so weird. I've never had a wine like that. Coppery. Weird like citrusy flavors, but delightful. Wow, one of the most confusing wines I think we've had on the show so far. Um, I haven't really got a frame of reference for it, which is actually really exciting, but this would be really fun to play with again with food pairing. And I'd like to see this age as well. That's fucking awesome. Now I'll tell you what we don't have enough on this show and that is dessert wines. And this is, this is the one. I am all about this wine. I, to make a wine like this from a winemaking perspective, that's hard. 
This is really, really hard to do this. Everyone needs more fortifieds in their life or sweeter dessert wines. A wonderful little treat, you know? We're missing those little treats these days, and I think this is one of those wines that could easily, easily fit into everyone's repertoire of wine drinking, and totally should. Absolutely, I'm gonna get off my soapbox and we should see what the other guys think. Sweet. All right, another six wines. Yeah. Uh, and another guest judge. Yes, bonus round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how was your first experience in front of the camera rather than behind it? Hated it. Every minute of it was fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> I hate wine. I hate wine. <laughs> what did I hate? All right, well, speaking of things that we hate, how'd you go with wine number one? It was terrible. It was, um, unfortunately, it was, uh, it was no good. It was just so mousy, um, and it was just like, it was just one of those things where it was so overridden with mouse that you couldn't really pick up too much outside of it. There was not much to redeem it, unfortunately. I wouldn't have a glass, unfortunately. How was your first experience drinking mousy wine? Uh, it was pretty bad, honestly. <laughs> I said it tasted like vomit, like a little bit. Like, it, it's just like that acidic, gross yes. thing on the end, so it was just kind of fucked up. What's the wine? What's wine number one? Oh, it's 38 bucks. All right, okay. wow, okay. So it's in that, that price range, yeah. definitely. Oh! Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Also, yeah. very hands off. Yeah. You know, and, and it totally makes sense for the wine given like the way it's ended up. You can see that the skill in the winemaker's and, hands here. And we've had great wines from this producer on the show and off Plenty the show. Plenty of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, like generally great wines, and yeah, clearly this, this is just a. It's just not looking great today. It's just not looking that great today. <sighs> Unfortunately, these things happen when, you, and this is the sort of like risk that you run with winemakers that take risks. Yeah, exactly. You get the thrilling, outrageous stuff, some of the best of the best, and then you get some things like so this like, that just don't look today, good. Today, not, not, so, not so good. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, well, 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 I'm not going to stop me from buying that producer in the future because I've had, had joys. Peace. So, Peace. It's, it's shame. Well, moving on, wine number two. Yeah. First of the 12 packs. <laughs> yeah, I only grabbed six, but it's definitely worth the 12 because holy shit, this is just like, yeah, I mean, look, beautiful. I've got to say, rose. it's probably like Provence style rose, just really yeah. well done, like, oh, simple. Yeah, I said it, uh, it smells like pink and <laughs> tastes like apples. I, like, really oh, it's got a cool like green apple, like an underripe yeah, apple thing yeah. going on. I also don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so how, how much was it? It was 26 bucks. 26? 26? Mm -hmm. Yacht wine. Oh, oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Riochen Rosé. Cool. I'm, I'm into it. I'm that's into fucking awesome. Just take a <laughs> moment to appreciate the label though. Like, is that two spacemen cheersing, like, in space? Yeah, no, they're drinking the- Or like, is he stabbing the other one? I'm not sure what's <laughs> no, going no, no, on. No, they're, they're arm in arm, like, astronaut brothers, and one's got the wine open in his hand, and one's oh, got, got, like, the glass. 26. I'm happy with my dozen. 13, 13% alcohol, yeah, that is- that's yacht wine. Let's go, let's go to Basque country. That's so just good. fucking yeah. hit sit on the beach. Yeah. Dope. Oh, oh yeah. That, that is awesome. Fuck yeah. Uh, speaking of the tops of 22, this was fucking awesome. I love this wine. I absolutely love it. That's really fitting because I did not. Really? <laughs> I did not. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Lucky, what is it? 25 bucks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How is that? I like bucks? it. It's actually really good for 25 bucks. Yeah, I agree. Says the guy that only wanted one glass for 20. <laughs> and and the guy that makes $25 wine. <laughs> what is it? Oh, cool. The fuck butts. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Great name. Great name. 25 bucks. Cool. Surely that's sweet you want when you buy it now. It's a $25 like light red called fuck bus. Into the cloudy numbers. Number four. Cloudy numbers. Uh, yeah. Love this. Big fun. Golden circle. Um, breakfast juice in cans. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is a wine you literally want just to make you chew on it. I yeah. want to just go, oh, it's so crunchy. What, what do you think, oh, Dude, I thought it was natty, bro. It was natty. <laughs> was it because it looked like it's cloudy? Yeah. Did yeah. you jump down the natural path? Yeah, well, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought that all wine that looked like that was classified as natty wine. You'd be pretty, like, like you'd be pretty hard-pressed to find wine that looks like that that isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, For they sure. exist, but they're, they're few and far between. Mm. What is it, man? All right. 32 bucks. Excellent. We've saved Good. $3. Yeah, so yeah. So times that by 12. By 12. We've 36 saved bucks. $36, which we're going to buy one more bottle. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Baker's dozen. A <laughs> uh, co. co. Cool. Just co. Just co. co. Just cool. Look, what, is it, what does it say on the back? What does it say on the back? Can you rotate it slightly? I'm liking these little bits Cold here. Cold stream. 
Cold stream is white that, late summer. For minute on skins for 12 days to accentuate layers of ginger, honeysuckle, honeysuckle. and green curry spice. Awesome. Bottled during vintage for enjoyment now. Oh, ah. so it's like a real quick bottling. So as soon as it's dry, put it in bottle. Yeah. Yeah, it checks out. There's a yeah. new one that I've never heard of. Never heard of, never seen of. Um, and as we know with these producers, um, they go from small and unknown to being sold out and very popular very quickly. So I'll definitely, definitely recommend jumping and grabbing these bottles because that's a reliable number. And that's 30, good 32 bucks, number. that's great value. It's excellent value. Uh, number five, I really liked this one. I thought this, seeing these side by side was a bit harsh. I thought this was a lot more refined version of this. What do we got? 36. 36? Great. Great. Good, Good price. price. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck Dude, yeah! That's, that's awesome. That's so killer. So this is um, so this is a bunch of girls up in the hills, uh, and wine's great. Done incredibly well. And I've heard, Done incredibly well. And I've heard only really, really good things about most of the wines in this range. And clearly from example, this is a good little number. That's bonkers. I'll be glad with a 12 pack of that. Speaking of exciting things though. Yeah, that's, that is the, the, the number one thing you can say about this one. It was exciting what as the shit. I am like, we don't, I, it just for a fact, we've done what, 30 something of these now, I would yeah. say, yeah. where you haven't seen a single fortified? Or sweet or anything like that. Or maybe some like kind of off dry things, but nothing like this that. intense. Um, I don't know how fortified it is, uh, but it's oh, definitely it. sweet. Raisin. It was really, really delicious. It was in amazingly interesting as well. What is it? What is it? How much has it set me back? 59 bucks. It's on par okay. for it. BDN, okay. BDN, okay. BDN, let's do it. What do we got? Let's get uh, boom to Venice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's uh, VDM. <laughs> Holy um, shit. Fucking awesome. Really, really well made. And at 59 bucks, 59? That is a special occasion, like good family dinner kind of vibe thing. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining. Noah, thank you for commentary, tasting, lending the palate. Continuing uh, to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and Lockie, of course, thank you so much uh, for jumping behind and on the camera and in front of the camera for the first time. Yeah, the all-rounder. And until next week, we'll be here.